Good morning everybody. Today I wanted to share with you um, how to make these um, corker bows out of corker ribbons. And here I have a bunch that's already curled. These ribbons, I think these are probably the 1 8 inch because they're teeny tiny. Uh, most people like to use the 3 8 inch and those come out looking like this. These are the 3 8 Same here. Um, <clears throat> these ribbons are grow grain. In this example it's grow grain, but I have done them, these here, they may be satin, or maybe grow grain, I'm not sure. But I've done satin and I've done sheer organdy ribbon and they work with all of those ribbons too. Um, so once you curl the ribbons, you're going to cut them into little strips and you are going to tie them very tightly here in the middle and then secure them on a hair clip. So I have a few examples here. These are the teeny tiny little ones um, and they are attached to snap clips if you can see tiny little snap clips. I'm sorry I don't have the size of these snap clips but they are teeny tiny. And so what people do with these teeny tiny ribbons is, can you see the little, um, whoops, this is a poodle and she's so darling. So it's made with um, pom-poms and uh, wiggly eyes and the, the teeny tiny black bow that's tying her, her um, fur around her ear. And at the very tip of the nose is a teeny tiny little bead or black rhinestone. So there she is, really cute horsey. You see the horsey? with the curly hair. There we go, right there. So cute. So you could do this in any color. Black horse, white horse, brown horse. My example here is of the brown horse. I used to make these um, hair bows for my girls, but um, they have too much, too many, so they don't really care about them anymore. Um, this is a focus, cupcake, and the pom pom, the little red pom pom, is the is the cherry on top of the cupcake. Um, there we go. Okay, I see. And there's the back of it. And then here is a. Uh, a birthday present. Okay, I had a birthday hat where the top, the very tippy top of the hat had this. I don't know where it is right now. So um, that's another idea. The back of it. And um, here are little bows. These little bows. So at the very top is where you see the corker ribbons. Right there, right there, right there. See, so here's another color of it. Oops. And um, here are the bigger rib ribbons, the 3 8 that I added to the very top of this stack bow. You can see here how thick the stack bow is. And at the very top is the corker ribbons. So I think I showed everything here that I have. Um, Let's see, I also have a whole bin of them. So you see, once it's curled, <laughs> then we cut them into little strips like this. Um, you cut them and then you seal the ends with a um, wood burner tool. I'll show you that in just a second. Um, some holiday colors. Oops, whoops, whoops, everything's falling out. Okay, and then there's some blues, 
so pretty. I love ribbon. I love all colors, all styles of ribbon. I can't get enough of the ribbon, but I don't have time to make hair bows anymore now that my, my three kids are getting older. Um, there's lots of homework, lots of activities, so we don't have time to do hair bows. And besides, they already have so many that they don't even need any more hair. This is a binder clip that you can find at an office supply store. Uh, traditionally, we always use um, clothespins. They're wooden and metal, and so they can go in the oven without melting. So just make sure it's not plastic, nothing that melts. So the binder clip is all metal, and um, if you don't have those things, then you can certainly use a bobby pin. It's metal. And so it won't melt. Just make sure when you take it all out of the oven, don't touch any of the metal parts. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, but as you can see, some of the darker color ribbons will transfer to the dowel. You can kind of see um, the dark ribbon, the edges of the dark ribbon. That may have been maybe like a black ribbon, maybe or maybe navy blue, possibly. So um, that's also something to think about. If you don't want, don't use the, the dark dowels on white ribbon. So the dowels you can buy at any home supply store um, and even the craft store, and they come in many different diameters. So depending on if you like them really, really small or really thick, you can see the difference in the diameter and then just to cut them down to size so that they'll fit in your oven you just start at the at the end use a bobby pin I can't find where I put all of my clothes pins a ton of them whole oh, bag full and I don't know where the heck it is <laughs> Now I got three to put in the oven. Right. <clears throat> Preheat oven to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you're ready to put these in the oven, make sure you put them on a clean oven rack or on a clean baking sheet or on a clean nonstick silicone pad so that no food residue will transfer onto the ribbons once the oven is hot. Place your dowels in the oven and bake at 275 degrees for between 20 and 40 minutes, depending on when you test a rod. If you think the curls are too loose, then you can put it back in the oven if you want the curls to be tight and stiff. Please note, all ovens vary, so you may need to make your own adjustments. Once these are out of the oven, let them cool completely before unwrapping them off of the dowel. So once you get them out of the oven and you've let it cool down, then comes the fun part of unraveling the, the ribbon. And it's so pretty. And so, so I wanted to show you the uh, wood burning tool. Here are all of the, well, some of the uh, curled ribbons I wanted to show you. Um, and this, these two are actually the satin ribbons. And then the rest of these are the grow grain. And I did find a piece of um, the sheer ribbon that curls just as well. And so once you get your ribbon, you've got this length and you want to cut it down into hair bow size. So you'll cut it into little strips, depending on how big you want your bow to be. Once you cut it, you're going to want to use a wood burning tool. This is mine. And um, used to have a tip right here, 
I took the tip off because I don't need the tip. I just need this, this whole part gets heated up. And so um, just be real careful and you just kind of dab the ends just really very lightly dab the ends and it'll seal the ends do it on both sides the this ribbon here happens to be already sealed but I'm just saying a wood burning tool that's how you seal your ends nowadays they actually have a, a tool that will cut and burn it at the same time I, I can't think of it off the top of my head right now but that'll save you a lot of time you just cut it and it and it because it's a heated tool so you cut it and it burns it at the same time so it seals it but that's it i hope this was helpful and um i had a lot of fun making all of my ribbons and my bows so i hope you have fun too when i first had my kids i was crazy over the top crazy about hair bows about ribbons about color about you know all, all things girly so um i know how you feel if you're in that that situation right now when you're when it, you're new to it and the kids are young and they take their nap so you can do your cross while they're sleeping so it's a lot of fun so thank you very much for watching have fun and god bless